Hi hey guys, welcome back to another exciting episode of Exotic Life Electrician. Um, today is, I mentioned this in another video, I'm not sure if it's going to be going up before this one or the other one, so it'll make sense if you watch the other one first. Um, what it was here, my friend who is a kitchen fitter, turned up to change the kitchen, um, unfortunately the customer thought the, the electrics were going to be in the right place, they weren't, there wasn't a 6 mil cooker feed, sockets were going to be behind the cooker, the new cooker, so sort of last minute come out quote quickly over the weekend and come first thing Monday which luckily I can move a few things around so Adam's with me again today we're getting stuff off I'll walk you inside right so we've got here a few boards up there I'll show you a bit it's an old Wilex uh well that's not old uh dual RCD but uh we're going to have a test in a little minute it's got two radial circuits so the kitchen is this wall's just been knocked out Obviously, new kitchen's going in here. Old cooker, that one's going, but we're needing a six mil feed to here. So what we're going to be doing is drilling straight out into the garage, bringing it across, up. We're allowed to knock a few holes out because obviously a few holes have gone in where the RSJ's gone in. Uh, it's a flat roof above. Um, so we're going to get a six mil feed across, clip it down with this pipe work next to it. That's all getting boxed in. So we've got the cooker switch. I think pretty much most of these sockets are being ripped out because for my... Uh, I don't know, I, they're a bit too low. We're gonna bring them all up. So fingers crossed, these are all on one radial circuit. Uh, light switch, that's got a center light. That's the original position that's been switched over, but it's going back to here. I'm putting another switch in for the undercover light. So we've got one drop here, one drop there, one drop here. A uh, few switch burger going up there for the built-in fridge freezer that's going here. Uh, so these will be ripped out. There'll be another double socket there, another double socket there, another one over here. Uh, the six spots going in, so this one's going. We're going to try and find, make sure there's a, a permanent feed up there we can uh, we can tap off, especially for the undercover lights. Uh, so first thing is, I'm going to get the stuff in. We're going to give a little test on the board to see if this is on its own radial, or I'm going to cut this off up here somewhere if it's feeding the other part of the house, and we'll just run a new two five in feed or a ring possibly. I'm not sure yet. Um, so yeah. Let's give us a test of back in the Right, we've just turned the uh, one of the ring mains off. It wasn't on any of the radials. Adam's just going around with the socket test. So we've unplugged everything that we can find that's off. Uh, I've just done, I've just used my normal probes, tested the continuity between them. It belled up fine. Uh, neutral on the ring, 0.68. Um, but when I connect up on the live, we've got an open circuit. So there's a fault somewhere on the live, so we're gonna to have to find that. I mean, the ring main is only in this kitchen here, the tiny little utility room, and underneath here, it's been tapped off on the ring through to a little conservatory, so there's not that much stuff to unplug, so let me just see what they're saying. Oh, it's a little higher than I'd expect. Right, so instead of doing an IR test, because I found those USB sockets in the conservatory, I know we can test around it, but what I thought I'd do is just split the ring. So this and this one were actually through crimp through. So if I could cut them off. Uh, there's no break between the ring main that go into the conservatory. So if I stick that on the lives, 0.44 on the earths. For God's sake. We've got 0.61. So that's normal, that's good. If I then stick it, on the earth, on the ring main feed, we've got 0.83, which is a lot better reading. So I think it was the USBs interfering with it. Neutrals, we've got 0.47. So we've still got a break on the live. So I'm just having a look around at what's on a ring. That's not. Suck it down there, that's not. That looks like it is, but we'll double check. But I've just come across is this socket. And if I oh, fancy that juncture box plastered into a wall, so that might be where the break is. If not, Adam's just taking these ones off over here. Another juncture box. Is that three going in here? Yeah. Right. Okay. So let's see what that's feeding. So that one is the spur to that one, and that one feeds down. We don't know, we'll find that. There's a plug behind here, there's one down there. Yeah, there's one there. So 
I'm gonna rip this out and have a look if there's anything loose. goes off down to a cooker point there. This thing comes across to that socket, but I can't be 100% with that because that then feeds across to there, which we presume goes to there. We've also got the cooker hood. Yeah. So whether or not there's another junction box in the wall there, we don't know. So let's just rip that off. Right, that's still fine. So we've still got the brake in the live. So now that's ripped out. So we know the ring main coming down there that's the ring down there so let's make a mess where do you come from Normally I do this nice and neat, but because the whole thing's been skimmed, it doesn't really matter. And we're going to be ripping those holes in it anyway. Slightly. Yeah. But the thing is, you would never know that was there. No. Never, ever, ever. And so stuff like this you would get is when that's there, most kitchen fitters would presume that comes straight up or straight down. Yes, it goes across, but to a degree. Yeah. Someone would drill a hole in a wall cab there, go through a cable, would then have to come back after it's been painted. You know, the kitchen's mostly yeah, in. Chisel it out. Chisel it out, find out what it is, then find this rock of shit. <laughs> and then I'm trying to fix this on a finished wall. And that's why, like I say, it's best before you start a job, test it all, figure out what's what. And look at the shit we found. Juncture box in the wall, this. Ring main down there for utility. Mm -hmm. Right, well, nice. Let's guys have a look. So that's what we found. So I presume we've got the ring. Mm, it might not even be a ring, that might just be a radial, and this one comes down. Uh, that might go down to that cooker switch, and then that. One going down there might join the ring back up, I don't know. But we have tested and we've got a ring there, so... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to pull this apart and give it a test. It just keeps getting worse and worse, right? Uh, I didn't buy one. I have nipped shopping. Oh, sound. So we stripped that back. Obviously, you've just seen. We found the Cave of Wonders hidden in there. I pulled the, the, the hood feed out. This one's come down. You would have thought it'd come straight down, but there's no cap in here, so... I'm going to give it a pull. I use my strong hand. Grab my strong hand. Oh, come on, you little. <coughs> Don't have your mouth open when you do that. Normally, I'd try and make much of a mess, but I'm doing it all one handed and filming it, so don't crucify me too much. Oh, and here we go. Right, so that was the ring main. Right, so just so we're all clear. The ring main comes down there to that one. That's one leg. The other leg came into here, came back down to there, that one spurred off there, and then the ring then joined across here. God knows what that runs to. 
So we've now found, so, oh no, sorry, that is the ring. So that there and that there is the ring each end. So I'll, I'll stick a test across there. So everything else on here is now pointless. All right, cracking job. Fabulous zoning to everyone. That, you're wicked. You're cool, nice. All right, so just took the tester across that. So we've still got the missing live, but neutral and earth are joined. So we managed to get rid of all that, which I'm happy about, to be fair. So what we will end up doing is cutting a hole. I mean, you can see what looks like the ring up there anyway. Um, lifting that up and sort of see where we go from there, really. Sorted it. Right, so we've got one ring hanging out there, the other one here. Uh, that ring goes up straight across these beams. So I've just cut a hole there to find it, which is fine because we need to bring sockets down. It's all being skimmed. What I'll do, I'll keep that and I'll show you how I'll reattach it in the ceiling afterwards. They're cut off and the fault was here. <clears throat> I'm not sure if I got footage before. There was loop in, loop out, and then there was one from here going down to a junction box, which was fucking diabolical, going across to here. And the live, what is it? Well, one of the, the, the legs wasn't in properly, it was loose. So I've just wagered it through at the fuse board, the live's through. Tested it on there, and the reading we've now got is 0.4. So, I'm happy now, I found that. Um, right, now we've got all that sorted. I've got a new sort of plan that I wanna, I'll tell everyone. Uh, what I'm gonna do is bring the ring back over, bring it down, I'll put a socket outlet there, um, so you can see that the cables are running down. I mean, I could run it within 150 of the wall, within regs. And I'm going to put that, tap that on down there. So the utility and the conservatory are going to be on their own ring main. And I'm going to make the effort. When I run the six mil in, I'm going to run a two five in for a radio circuit for the kitchen as well, just to have the kitchen on its own circuit. I think it's a, while I can, I think it's a better option to do uh, safety wise. You know, it's on its own circuit, cook is a run with the cooker. So what we're going to do is boards up there, obviously. The garage is directly behind here, and in the garage, there is, you can just see them there. There's three cables that go through to feed the garage through a piece of conduit through the wall. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna bring mine cables down, I'm gonna drill a hole straight through here into the garage, slip some 20 mil conduit, maybe probably 25, if I've got a 25 mil SDS bit. Uh, slip the six mil and the two five through there, and that's gonna be clipped direct in the garage, and then bring it across, and then up through into this ceiling void here obviously the other side of the RSJ, and then that'll give me the chance then to start dropping some, some cables in. Um, right, what we've done, I've reconnected the ring, so where you go box there, there's one up there, there's two new legs drop down, connected to the big uh, where you go, that's just there temporary until we can sort it out. I just wanted to get the power back on because there's a freezer plugged in. Um, uh, tea, one sugar, tea, yeah. tea, one sugar, please. Um, I put it back on the board, so the ring main now is going to be utility conservatory. So we're going to get the level out now, mark out where we want boxes, start making a bit of a mess, put that back up. Um, obviously, I've not done a, a, fi uh, a fixture there, so that's just within regs of 115 from the wall. 115, 150. So that'll be capped later on once this unit comes out. Um, so yeah, laser round. Give that a go. Right, we've had the laser out. We've done our pencil line like I was doing loads of other videos. Uh, kitchen plan now. So this is what I marked up sort of the other day, sort of how I price stuff. Um, so this one here is gonna be our cooker ISO. Double socket, uh, obviously. Then there's gonna be a few switch spur here with an unswitched socket up here. Another double socket, another double socket. Um, light and feed, top and bottom, top and bottom, because we've got a glass units going in. So there'll be a junction on top and then a fly lead down. I'm not quite sure what lights they are yet because it comes with the kitchen. Uh, there's gonna be a cooker wedge behind, double socket under the sink for the dishwasher to go into. The washing machine, everything's in the utility room, so don't have to worry about that. Uh, this is sort of the round the corner. Another double socket in this corner. There'll be a few switch spur on this back wall here for an unswitched socket for the fridge freezer and then a lighting point just below for this one because it's not a glass cab. Um, so we're gonna go around, I've got the kitchen plan, sort of mark out roughly where we want stuff. What I try and do, like if it's here for the sockets, is take the same measurement from the corner for each socket so they're sat same level away 
Uh, it's very rare that you'd have a socket there and you'd have a microwave sat here. You would have it more sat in the corner with the kettle, not floating in the center. Same for this socket here. That would be the same measurement for this one as it is for this one. Um, so I'll stick on a time lapse of us marking out boxes, start chasing and whatnot. and sweaty and dusty uh we've gone i did obviously time lapse this bit but i really need to crack on i messed around with the camera too much so uh 47 mil box in the wall for the six mil cable and then down for a cooker wedge double socket drill through there to keep this intact so uh, it's not too difficult to plaster through there back up there that's for the hob isolation no sorry hood isolation i think i'm gonna come back up here drop down to that one, feed across to that one, and this one's going to be last on the circuit this side. Uh, what I'm going to do is going to, I'm going to split it as it comes in, so one will come down this way, and then one will come down this way. Um, so that one's that, obviously we'll get this capped. Um, comes down here, across to two double sockets, that's a few switch spur, uh, and then that will carry on down to a double socket under the sink at some point. And then that few spur is going down to the, not Adam's face, the... Uh, yeah. Cooker uh, fridge uh, on switch socket that's going to go behind. Um, we're having a sweep up now. It was bloody dusty. We kept all the doors shut, but we can't really stop it as such. So it's already been messy when they knocked the RSJ out. So it's not too bad. So next thing is now we can start running the cables through. I think and once we've had a sweep up and pushed. So we'll do this side first, I think, and push across and ignore. I've, I've run out of 20 mil grommets, open grommets. So someone's going to come up in a bit and drop them off. Uh, run them through, run them through, and then we'll get them. I'm not going to tidy it too, too much because obviously we're going to be cutting the down lights out a little bit as well and messing around with this uh, switch. What I've done with the switch, it was going to obviously someone's tapped it off there, it was there. I was going to keep it there, but the wall unit comes out 300 obviously, so about there. So, what's going to happen with this now is I'm going to extend, rip all this out, chase, rechase this. It's in cap in any way, you can just see it there. Um, Drop the box down the same height as the uh, socket so it's all sort of in line and, uh, and level. Purely the fact I don't want to put it around there. There's no zoning. I can't run it down because there's a metal, big metal steel there now. So 
drill this in, drill this up, two, uh, two uh, gang switch going on there. And also with the chasings we've done, this will allow the sockets and the undercover lights in there, sockets and undercover lights in there, and same thing for that one. So we've got all three uh, undercover drops as well. So I'll do, once we charge up here, I'll do a bit of a time lapse of running cable around. Cables are all pulled in now for this side of the wall. Cooker's down, cooker's gonna be clipped down because like I said before, it's gonna have a um, box over the corner there and it's gonna be behind the wall unit anyway. Uh, gonna start capping these, just plastic capping, nothing special. Um, and we'll get to here, and then we're gonna cap the, uh, the ring main that goes down there as well. Capping's all on, uh, nice and neat. And then I just remembered I need to put a down undercover light feed there and undercover light feed there. So good job. That's why I've only fixed half of that. I remembered halfway through that one. Uh, I'm just gonna get the sockets done first. So that's capped within uh, 150 to the edge of the wall. So that's all in its zones. Happy with that. We're just gonna go and get a rod now from this hole across to do the other leg of the radial across down to this one, down to that one, through to this one, down for the under cupboard, for sink socket even, and then across for the uh, fridge. Right, cap is all done, like I said earlier, we need to run the things in, uh, the under cupboard lights. Just sort of chasing this out, figuring out what's what. So this obviously comes in and feeds up what is the conservatory that way. Uh, so I'm gonna disconnect all this, uh, away you go, maintenance free box up here. So he's gonna have a th in, in and out, and then I'm gonna run a three core down uh, to do a two gang switch, one for the undercover lights, one for the down lights. And then from there, we're gonna take the feed from here to the first down light, and then from here to the first drop, which will literally just sort of come out here and then go back down to the, out, uh, <clears throat> the bottom of the unit. Right, I'm onto the lights now, obviously. We're gonna turn that off, like I've just said. Uh, a few people have asked a request for doing down lights on a flat roof such as this. This has helped me a lot because obviously there's big notches in the ceiling. Normally that wouldn't be there, to be honest. Uh, what we would normally do is find the first joist. I'd normally use my four inch hole cutter, find where joists is, do a plug next to the joist, get a measurement then to the next joist, do the same thing on each joist. With here, because obviously I'm gonna do three, uh, three here, three there, so you would just do the plug here, you would run across to each one. Um, most of the time, like I do, I do a four inch hole if it's being overboarded, get my hammer up there, manage to tack a cable there on each sort of uh, down light, <clears throat> bring it back, and then you drill all the joists through where you've made your four inch hole on the joists. Um, it's a similar thing here, but obviously there's big holes that they're gonna have to fill in the builders to do it across. So I'm, gonna do, I'm not gonna, film myself cutting all the holes out because I've done that in loads of other videos um, and time's running on a bit to be fair here. Um, so yeah that's pretty much how you do it really and then afterwards you get the plugs that you've cut out and then do your little batten across the sea like if that was the whole way around hole you do a, a wooden batten across screw to each one and then put your plug back in stick a screw in the plug and you can put a bit of fill around that itself. Um, so yeah I'm going to mark all these out get them cut and whatnot. Powers all on the lights. We severely had to rush because it's half past six now and we still have another job to go to and his parents are gonna think I've uh, left him somewhere by the sounds of it. Um, switches on, capping on, capping's on. I've way go through the radial all the way around for the socket circuit. So I'm gonna go and do a um, IR test on that now. 
just so I'm 100% that nothing's joined me, not going through any screw, any screws through any capping. Um, so obviously when I come back to second fix, if there is a problem, it's not down to me. I can, uh, I can price accordingly, should we say. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna wire test this now. Right, so we've not had time to clip it up and around here, so that's it there. So I'm just gonna, this my ends. So, do you live the neutral? What's on? I'll do 500 because I know nothing's plugged in. Come on. A bit more difficult doing this one. Oh, it's that one. No, you won't, dude. Right, 299. Two no nine. Two no nine. Sweet. Right, that's another job done. Nice dusty day. Uh, Adam's been a star as usual. Um, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm not going to come back and do second fix and film it. I mean, you've seen second fix. I'm sticking a few things on them. Um, so yeah, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.